Yo guys, what is up? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are checking out a new game called Sim Airport. Right out the bat, if you guys have ever played Prison Architect, now I know I didn't play any Prison Architect on my channel, but I played a lot in my free time on the PS4 with Laura. This is pretty much Prison Architect, but instead of managing a prison, you're managing an airport. And I don't know if they're the same developers. I saw the publishing company was different, but this is pretty much a spitting image, at least mechanic wise of prison architect. But instead of a prison, we're in an airport now. So we have a ticketing room, we have a baggage claim, we have drop off, we have restrooms, we have security, we have a gate, we have a taxiway and we have a runway. So first off, this is a template that they give you when you first start the game, just to learn a little bit about it. They give you everything you need to have a working crappy airport. Uh, but the first thing to get this airport nice and lively is that we need to talk to the airlines and order a flight. Now, I don't know how this is how it works in real life, but this is how it's going to work in the game, at least for right now. We're going to talk to Pacific Airlines. Actually, ooh, airport interest level. Aerostar has 57%. I'm assuming the higher this percent, the more they want to come to the airport, I guess. So we're going to click on here and holy cow cow a boeing 707 uh all realistic airplanes in here at least by their names it's got an Embraer 195 boeing 767 boeing 777 or trip 7 uh oh we have a little that's awesome a little beachcraft 9 or 1900 um it's really cool how they have a lot of different aircraft in this game now i don't see any double deckers yet Ooh, a bombard a bum oh my gosh a Bombardier CRJ 900. Shout out to Canada for producing one of the sexiest tail aircraft or tail engine aircraft in the world. Um, but yeah, no double deckers. But as you can see, is that realistic passenger numbers too? And I wonder if that simulates it um, on the ground too. Because if we, I don't think we have the capacity. Oh my God, I'm getting excited for this game, boys. <laughs> I don't think we have the capacity on our shitty little air or our terminal and ticketing and baggage, baggage claim to handle a 400 max passenger. God dang it, sorry about that guys, my game just crashed. I guess that's to be expected in early access games, but luckily we weren't too far ahead in our airport career. We just left off talking to Aerotime about accepting some of their planes into our airport. We wanted smaller planes because we don't have the infrastructure, infrastructure to support a big plane and unfortunately aero time wants to land a 737 with 140 passengers and a 707 with 108 let's see if we can do other aircraft nope okay here's that beach craft that's good do we okay we're gonna try for this beach craft nighttime okay so this one we can land this plane but first we're gonna have to upgrade our runway and i'll show you how you do that right now so we're able to install on a runway, ILS, instrument landing system, runway lights, which we're gonna do right now. We're just gonna overlay it over the runway. But what ILS does in this game, it allows fewer weather delays in a lower risk of weather related incidents. It also helps you attract the big boy airlines. Now, Pappy um, provides a visual indicator to pilots of their approach angle, resulting in increased safety. And what that small statement means to me is that when this game is updated, we might have um, emergency landings, we might have um, incidents, accidents, to where we're going to need emergency services at our airport. Okay, lights are installed, as you can see. Runway is functional. We'll go back to our, it was Pacific Airlines. Nighttime. Good. $2,600 for that accepting bonus now once we accept a plane to come in it's on our schedule and this is going to land at 6 p.m which is 1800 zulu hopefully <laughs> so i'm going to fast forward until we get to about 3 p.m i'll be back okay we're about to hit 1600 zulu which is two hours before our flight we're waiting for our first passengers to enter our airport which we should be right here there we go okay so what they do is that they take their bags or their ticket, or I guess their confirmation number, or whatever. Maybe they buy their ticket here. They go to these uh, ticketing staff. They buy their ticket, and they check their bag. And once she's done with that, she'll head down to the TSA. We all love them. 
Wow. Shades inside, typical. And this is what I love about some video games. It's just micro animations like the bin. And why are you going back around? I guess she had to get her stuff. Did she just go around TSA? Oh, I guess it's realistic as well. <laughs> and now she is in the terminal waiting for our Beechcraft 1900 to land. And it lands in an hour and 10 minutes. Now, if I was waiting for a plane, I would want some benches. Oops, sorry about that. Some benches to sit on. And as you can see, um, you have a rest meter here. You have a hungry meter, a hungry meter and bladder, environment, information, life cycle, departure. Don't, don't know what that means. But uh, if you build a bench, the rest goes down to zero. And I'm sure if we uh, build some food machines, I guess we can build a vending machine here. Um, there we go. We'll put it right by the door. Those numbers will go down to 0.0, .0 which I believe in the future when this game is updated will result their happiness or um, their frustration level. And in the meantime, we can start to get a new plane here. Let's see if we can't get any smaller planes. You know what, guys? We're going to go for a Boeing 737. We're going to crowd up this airport and see what, what we need to work on to allow those big planes to land. It lands in 30 minutes, game time. And holy crap, I didn't notice this. Oh my gosh. A Beechcraft 1900 landing in 30 knot southeast crosswind. Our runway is a east and west. If anything, hopefully this plane comes from the west. Give it a Lisa headwind. Okay, it's got about five minutes. Okay, it should be coming in. I hear it. 3 1. Landing on the wrong runway, but I appreciate the ATC chatter. There it is. Touchdown. It's coming to a stop, and she'll head. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She is. This must be a new pilot. She just cut that taxiway so hard. And there we go. Okay, no new passengers are coming in. We have our passengers waiting at the gate. Oh my god, I'm gonna play so much of this game. All right, park it nice and center line. Nice and... I guess it's a smaller plane. It needs to be a little bit closer to the jetway. Beautiful. And now on board... Oh, I missed it. En route is how many passengers are on the plane. And as you can see, they are departing. This guy looks like he's from South Park. I forgot his name, but he's the, um, you guys know who I'm talking about. So I guess there was no bathroom on that plane. Everyone, oh my gosh, these are co-ed bathroom. Oh my lanta. Co-ed public restrooms, that's dangerous. Ooh, we have a late passenger here. Can she get through? Luckily, no one, luckily we don't have any other flights inbound. Let's see if she does. Oh yeah, and I forgot about this. Uh, the staff will go into the plane and grab uh, the check bags. There they are. And they'll drive all the way over here to drop them off at the baggage claim. Okay, there we go. We got a small suitcase and a little carry-on right there. And then this guy will go to the where the check bags were and bring these bags into the plane. Now this is a very bad system and the game supports where is it? Utilities. Yeah, conveyor systems and baggage routing stations, which will, I guess, help speed up the process to where we could have workers outside. I haven't figured that out yet, but I'm going to be playing all today to try to find the best way to, to deliver the check bags to and from the aircraft. And then, so the um, passengers have now boarded the plane. I think this has a max... Only nine can board? Is that really this thing's capacity? It makes it makes sense. No, nineteen passengers max, but we only have nine boarded. Maybe it's nine out of nine um, that have bought tickets, and it should depart in thirty minutes, twenty minutes. Let's see. Yep, there she goes. We have high tech pushback machines here. Now, if this game is anywhere near realistic, 
They should take off from the runway that they landed. Be oh god, no. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh. Wow, hats off. Half hats off, Sim Airport. You guys might have some aeronautical or at least aviation background to really take that into account. So they are taking off with a crosswind, but a nice headwind as well. This thing should, should get off the ground right now. <laughs> it's got a lot of or a lot of headwind right there. And there goes some profit, $400. And now we need to set up for our next plane. Incoming, we have a Boeing 737 at 4 a.m. Now, I tried this once before I started recording, and it was a disaster. But I just wanted to show you guys how much of a disaster it is if you don't build the right commodities for your passengers. We can try to set it up. Let's see if we can build another baggage machine. Okay, we have a baggage scanner here. If I can push those up a little bit, we have about six hours before they land. Let's see this. So what happens is that there's, not, there's, there's so many passengers and we only have one TSA line or one security line, everyone gets bottled up. So let's see, we're gonna destroy. Destroy. Speed it up for our workers to come over here and destroy this. And you guys should take that away, right? Or not. Dump. Or can I rebuild it? Oh, we're just gonna dump it just to get it out of here. Okay, and then now let's pause time. And so we need the baggage scanner. And metal metal detector, I believe. I wonder how it was set up. I really wish I looked at it. Okay, metal detector. Let's rotate it. Hopefully that will work. And we'll create another ID stand. And put the baggage. Let's just type bag in. That'd be easier. There we go. Baggage scanner. Oops, sorry. Jesus, people are expensive. All right, come on, workers, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, and we're going to have to increase our ticket sales. We're going to put another ticketing desk. And we'll put two more. Why not? And we'll put two new staff. Good. And we'll put another janitor. Okay, here comes the workers to deliver the new security systems. Okay, so one metal detector requires a workman, and hopefully one bag scanner requires a workman. Good! I think we're all set up. It lands in four hours. We're ready for this. We are ready for this. Now, there are queue lines, too. And this, and this is a British airport, so I think queue lines will work out perfectly. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Let's create a ridiculous queue line. So that's the point of entry, I guess. Oh, no, no, hang on. Yes. Yes, roller coaster tycoon. Yes. Okay, we'll create another one here. Okay. Q lines ago. The plane lands in three hours. We're going to fast forward. Now at 2 a.m., the Boeing 737 passengers should start arriving. And hopefully we're set up... Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry about this, guys. We're going to create some more benches here for our passengers. Damn it, that's too much... That's too big of a space. Okay, hopefully that gets on time. Come on, workers. There's the cargo dropped off. The workers are bringing it inside the airport. And here comes the passengers, right? What the fuck? Am, am, am I freaking out? This plane arrives in one hour and no one's here yet. Maybe it's for the next day? Okay, it's day three. Hopefully this works because we are losing a ton of money waiting for this Boeing 737 to land. The passengers should... Oh my gosh, the plane didn't even show up. What the heck is that about? Okay, let's pause time here. We're gonna we're gonna get a new plane to come in here as soon as possible. We got a morning slot, a Boeing 707. Fuck it, let's do it. 4 a.m. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the 180 passenger. Shit. 707. It's looking like it's going okay. They're using two ID checking points. Oh my gosh. Hey, this isn't going too bad. Sorry, I'm just getting excited. I, I like when there's a lot of commotion going on in the uh, airport. Yeah, they don't want to use this line at all. But I don't care. We can delete it because the two ID checking points are acting kind of like lines itself. Oh my gosh, this vending machine is making a million dollars a second. Okay, the plane lands in about 10 minutes. Let's check the 707 out. And then wait, 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 let's pause time. Gosh, I don't know. How long, I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, and let's Ooh, we got a Ford Air. We got a afternoon 767. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna bring that one in the afternoon. Hopefully we can survive this. Okay, there we go. We're definitely gonna need some more passengers or more uh, benches, but everyone's standing up. I think the plane's about to land now. Yes. The iconic Boeing 707. But like, this is just the beginning. Like, I only have one gate. Imagine when I'm, you know, what if I delete this, delete this taxiway, create about three runways, expand this to allow the taxiway to go all the way down here. So much potential for us. Hopefully you guys like this, these types of games because I would love to bring more to you. Okay, this, oh, look how, I love how like, they're, they're the actual airplane. Love that. Now, how many souls are on board? 103. Okay, here they come out. Now, here comes the, the bathroom rush. We're going to actually create another door for this bathroom, I guess. Stuck. Door, please. <laughs> Yeah, that is that is not good at all. Okay, now we have the golf. Oh man, good. Yeah, get in there. Get out of my airport. Holy fuck, that bus fits like two hundred people. Um, here comes the golf cart lady, and here comes the golf cart man to deliver the. That golf cart is going to be weighed down so much. So these guys are getting all the check bags. I said before with the Beechcraft nine hundred onto the seven oh seven. And now the passengers are now boarding. Wow, we just handled 105 passengers. Good. I think everyone made their flight right there. Okay, it's gone. Good. Now, are you stuck here? I'm going to fire you because you, you look stuck. Okay, or you'll just stay there forever. Whatever. Uh, we're going to need to hire some more janitors. Now, it seems like the plane's a little delayed. It was supposed to take off at 6 a.m. I wonder if that will mess up with our profits from like the ramp fees, runway use, terminal use, etc. Okay, so about to take off. See how much we make because we got a we lost a lot of money waiting for that Boeing 737 that never showed up. Okay, I think we went up about a thousand dollars throughout that whole process. Now the real test at noon today. We have a 767 coming in to land. And compared to the 707, right here, 180, the 767 from a Ford Air will have um, 250 passengers. All right, it's 930. Here comes the rush. Here comes the rush. The first bus did well, and man. Little bottleneck. Come on, get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Use all available ticketing boosts. The plane lands in an hour. There's a decent line. Okay, here comes the 767. Should be out of the west or the 27 runway. Oh, sorry guys, I was I was sped up, but look how big this thing is. Um, 112 people are here. 
Now, our last boarding on the 707 was, I think, 105. It doesn't really seem like there's too many passengers for this plane. Oh, come on, guys. You're blocking all the passengers. The garbage truck's taking forever. Oh, no. No, that's going to fuck everything up. Why is there only one guy doing that? Can I hire... Okay, watch this spam here. Oh, no, no, no. I guess we're good because... Not that many people are here to board this plane. Okay, they're starting the boarding process now. 121 we were able to get on that plane. 767 is off. As you can see, between the um, 707 and the 767, we've lost about $4,000. So to have a nice, profitable airport, we're going to have to start expanding, create more term or more gates. Yeah, we're going to need a, a steady stream of planes in here. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. A lot of free stuff here. If you guys, sorry, that was just in my mind. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Again, the link to try this game out and download it for yourself is, is in the description below. But until next time, guys, have a great day. Peace out.